with the Harris County Sheriff's Office in December 1991 as a jailer at the 701 San Jacinto facility. In January 1993, while working at 701, he attended the University of Houston Downtown's Basic Peace Officer Academy, Class 93. He graduated in June of 93 and became a certified peace officer. In January 1994, he transferred from 701 Housing to the classification section and worked there until August 1997, at which time he transferred to patrol and was assigned to evening shift in District 1. In August of 2000, he was given the opportunity to transfer to the Special Operations Section of the Patrol Bureau and where he was then assigned to the Juvenile Justice Alternative Education Program, JJAEP. If you notice, these times are real close. So when you got a valuable employee and they're moving that close to each other, they someone has identified something and hang that they want him on his team. So I, I'm just looking at this and these time frames from one assignment to another are very short. So that's hence is why I'm going to be suffering now that he's going to retire. <laughs> um, in 2005, he transferred to the Detective Bureau as a deputy investigator assigned to missing persons and runaway section. Two years later, May 2007, again, two years, here we go again, Hank was promoted to the rank of sergeant and was assigned to the 1301 Street Jail. In July 2008, he transferred to patrol. So you were only down there a year. How'd you do that, man? Got lucky. I had to spend two years down there as a sergeant. <laughs> In July 2008, he was transferred to the patrol bureau, District 4, evening shift. That's a, that's, I worked there too. That's a busy district. Busy district. In July 2009, he went to day shift and became the District 4 admin sergeant in, in December of 2009. In May 2011, there was a career rotation of all patrol sergeants and Sergeant Weirich was assigned to District 1 as the contract program sergeant. In November of the same year, he was selected to fill the District 1 administrative sergeant position. In April 2015, he was selected as a sergeant of the DWI Sober Corps unit at which he is still serving. He plans to retire he plans for retirement is to his plans for retirement is to travel with his wife Isabel, and thank you Isabel for sharing Hank with us all these years. Uh, you know our, we got our sheriff's office family, and then we got the family that means the most to us, which is our our spouses and children. So thank you Isabel for sharing him with us. Um, his plans for retirement is to travel with his wife, Isabel, of 27 years, and enjoy time with his two sons, Christian and daughter-in-law, Jessica, and Ryan and soon-to-be daughter-in-law, Hannah. Please help me congratulate Sergeant Henry Hank Weirich for his 30 years plus service and commitment to the ACSO. Thank you, will be sorely missed. Thank you. Jealous of, and not because I got 36 years and I'm still here. <laughs> but I present you with your uh, your retirement ID and your retirement badge. Thank you, sir. Right. Hey, there's, there's just a. Uh, I'm going to submit or uh, give this certificate to you. It's 30 year certificate. But I want to say this, and for you guys, and, and you all know, Hank. Hank, we always knew Hank was going to tell you what he thought. Yeah. And he was gonna always, he not necessarily if you wanted to hear it, he was going to tell you <laughs> what he thought, but he would always be there if you needed. Aww. So yeah, we wanted, to, we wanted, we want to wish you the best, and we know we want you to know we're right behind you. I'm Sober Court and Veterans Court and really the Specialty Court family. Right. Uh, we would like to congratulate you on your retirement and present you with this uh, one of
job kind of by fate and didn't really think much of it it was kind of just really it was a job I needed a job at the time I was here maybe less than two months and I realized that this probably was the calling that I had you know everything that I did before I got here just prepared me for this job um, you know I, I always tried to do very best that I could with whatever situation it was. Um, I was fortunate enough to have some good jobs um, and always tried to do the best I could at, at those jobs. Um, the, the proudest I, I am was when I, I became a sergeant because I felt like that is the most important job in the department. Uh, nothing against lieutenants, captains, majors, chiefs, whatever. But the sergeant is the is the one that keeps the the front line going. You know, we hold the front line up, and I always wanted to make sure that my guys had everything they needed to do their job, and expected them to do the job to the best of their ability. So I've been fortunate. You know, I, all of you people, I've, I'm, most of y'all I've known for years. Uh, some of you work for me as a, as a supervisor, and uh, but you know, I, I really I had I had anxiety about. You know, I, I knew I was ready to go. I wanted to go, and I just but you know, at, at some point, and they they always tell you this. You know, from for years you hear it from all the old heads. You'll know when it's time to go. And your mon the money will never be what you want it to be. So you just have to prepare for that. And, and, I, I, and I did. And uh, so I have, you know, I'm, I'm going. And I uh, finally one day last week kind of came to, came to grips with it. And so, you know, I thank you all, all for coming. Um, there's, there's so many people in this department that have meant a lot to me. Uh, and so... Uh, with that being said, thank y'all so much, um, and uh, thank y'all. I love for you, Hank. <laughs> <laughs> Rhonda, <laughs> love me, but you love me. Again, thank y'all so much. Thank you, and, and I, I would like to say thank, you, thank you, Crystal uh, and Melissa, for putting this all together, and that means it really means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Anybody, anybody else have anything else uh, that they want to share? Well, I just want to say, I just hope I can feel Hank's shoes because I'm going to be taking his place. So yeah, I hope I can take his place and feel his shoes and do the best that I can. And, um, You'll do fine. And, and I got your number, so I'll okay. <laughs> call me. Call me. I'm a, I'll always be on the phone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no, that's right. Thank you so much. Uh, all right. Well, that's it. Let's uh, let's, that's it. let's eat. We've got some.